next. As the last pieces of the Alaskan Way Viaduct come down, we are explaining how you can take part of it home for yourself. The long project to replace the viaduct with a tunnel is near its end. Hello again, I'm Monique Minglavin. I want one of those pieces of concrete. <laughs> I'm Steve Rabel. Now Seattle will focus on remaking the waterfront. Cat Row 7's Graham Johnson is live on the project site. And Graham, starting tomorrow, people are actually going to be able to pick up a piece of the roadway. Steve, I can help you out with that just in time for the holidays. Hey, we have these stocking stuffers for you. No lump of coal, but a piece of history. And this is where it came from. Right back there, you see that beam that uh, sitting there on the ground. Well, that is the last horizontal beam of the viaduct. And crews took it down just a short time ago. Over here, you can see the last five remaining columns. And soon they will be gone as Seattle begins rebuilding the waterfront. This morning, as contractors pulled out the next to last horizontal section of the Alaskan Way viaduct, Father Paul Magnano watched, thinking about the future. I'm glad it's gone and looking forward to what's next. Work removing the viaduct from the central waterfront wrapped up weeks ago. This last section took the longest because it's right uphill from these railroad tracks. There's a lot of restrictions on when we could operate. Much of the pulverized rubble now fills the old Battery Street Tunnel, but there's plenty left over. I think it's great. It's sort of like the Berlin Wall or something. Yeah, uh, it, actually, it is a piece of history for sure. This beautiful Puget Sound aggregate. Heidi Hughes of Friends of Waterfront Seattle showed us the viaduct pieces they'll start giving away at Waterfront Space on Western Avenue. We have a gift of a little piece of rubble. They're hoping people come in for a piece of the past and learn about the future of the waterfront. Between now and 2024, we'll see a new Alaskan Way, park space, and a connection between Pike Place Market and Seattle Aquarium with the views people remember from the viaduct. And you'll start seeing the transformation of our new waterfront, and I think people are going to get really excited about it. And back live as you see the construction uh, site wrapping up for the day. The first things you're going to notice on the waterfront are a new busway on Columbia Street. That opens in January and a rebuilt Pier 62 also coming early next year. Now to pick up your free piece of the viaduct rubble, of, you can visit Waterfront Space. It is at Western and Union right near Pike Place Market. They are open Wednesday through Sunday, noon to 5. Live in Seattle, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.